Hello and welcome to the K9 edition of Pause for Thought. I'm Rachel Harvey Jones and joining me as always from the Humane Society of Washington County is Kirk Livers. And you brought Harley with you. I have, not the motorcycle. I brought this little girl with me. Because <laughs> they're kind of noisy. They are, and she Never is Never so really not... seen the attraction. No, me neither, me neither. But this is Harley. And uh, believe it or not, she is 13 years old. I don't believe it, but that's what her owner says. She was under surrender and uh, they were moving, so right. they couldn't take her Aww. with her. Um, so she's 13 years old, but if you look at her teeth, they look gorgeous. She is really a lot of energy. She's in good condition. Looks really, really good. She's used to being around people. She would be a great pet for anyone. I have a perfect activity for Harley this weekend. Too. Oh, do you? Now, if you're watching a repeat of this show after the 18th, because <laughs> it does repeat once or twice after the 18th, then you've already missed the event of the month that's Absolutely. pause on the pavement it's a 5k our team here at hmtv6 i think with a little pressure has now grown to four that's exciting since the last show which was several minutes ago <laughs> uh, but um, we'll be definitely walking it we're more the ambling kind that's, of that's type. Right. but what a great event for harley and our, some of our adoptable dogs will be there some of the staff members will be there walking them so if you see any that you want to adopt or they might be out there running you can see how well they are on a leash um, and hopefully she'll be there if she's not gone by then, which would be great. Of course. Um, but hopefully she'll be there. What should people consider when you're thinking about adding an animal to the home? Um, what, what's the first thing people should consider? I think they should consider their lifestyle and the time that they can give to the animal. Uh, frequently we have people that, you know, they take a puppy because it's really cute and then they don't realize that a puppy is an insane amount of time <laughs> devoted to them to train them and housebreak right. them and things like that. So you have to think about your lifestyle and if you have a more active lifestyle, maybe a cat's more for you. But if you have the time and you have the patience, um, you know, absolutely a puppy or dog would be great. And think about, you know, exactly the time that you spend from home. I would love to have a dog. I mean, I grew up with dogs. Mm -hmm. Uh, always something that we had, uh, you know, as I was growing up as a child, but I just don't have that time now because I'm at work for, right. you know, eight, nine hours a day. Right. Cats don't even miss me, you know, <laughs> don't even know who I am. Who's this British chick who's just <laughs> coming so to the house? They're so independent. <laughs> so independent. Yeah, she raised them well. I know, I have raised them well. <laughs> but so think about the time that you have. Let's take a look at the details for Harley on the screen. And perhaps you're looking for something, as Kirk said, you know, we all love puppies. They are oh, yeah. super, super, super cute. Super cute. Super cute. But, you know, remember, and I think I can say this. Can you say that? I think so. A puppy is for life, life. not just for Christmas. It's I know true. it's a long way off Christmas, but think about that. If you're looking for something that's a little little more calm, of course, Harley is already neutered, so good to go. Absolutely, ready to go. And already chipped. Already chipped, vaccinated. She is good to get out of here. The one great thing, so many great things about your website, but Pet Tango is kept very up to date. So if you don't have the time to head out to the Humane Society or you want to check the uh, Pet Tango, I know that our producer for this show, Bethany, checks it daily looking for chickens or snakes or rabbits rabbits anything exotic that she can bring on to the show and uh you know please me with all oh, right but it's very up to date and the other great thing is and we should talk about that when we bring our second canine of the show on today is talking about the expert talk oh which is great which Absolutely. is such a great access to to, to vets. I know that Tracy Bartlett is involved Tracy with that. Tracy Bartlett of Longman Animal Hospital and uh, Carol Kennedy of Be Positive Training uh, dedicate their time and their advice to us. So any questions, you can go on our website. Easy, simple, and easy. Yep. Let's put the details up once again for Harley. Don't forget, we've got another gorgeous canine coming in. She's so calm. She's so calm. She's fantastic. She really is. She's, she's kind of like leaning little, on your leg. Yeah, she just she just wants attention. She, she just, just wants to be loved. Hey, what can I say? Who doesn't? She's, she's a girl. I mean, that's what we all want, right? <laughs> we'll put the details up once again, and we've got another gorgeous canine coming your way. But if you want to uh, have this one, then all you have to do is contact the Humane Society. Well, of course, I've completely forgotten her name. Harley. Harley. No, Harley's gone. Who's? This is Trinity. Trinity. I was thinking about Harley, and I was thinking Trinity. Trinity is very excited to have her 15 minutes of fame. She is. Very excited. My goodness. And she is, she's, she's super, super excited. This is a dog with a lot of energy, but she's an old girl. She is. She's about six years old. Sit down for me. And um, she came to us as an owner's surrender. The owner said that she kept escaping. Um, so because of that, <laughs> they, they didn't feel like they could work with her anymore. So. Be that as it may, you know, anyone that takes her, be aware that she, she could maybe dart she's out. She's an escapologist. She's a, absolutely. But with that said, I still think she'd be a great family pet for any family. Um, great with kids. She just has a little bit of energy. She'd be great to go on a walk. And mm -hmm. since she's older, as well as Holly, they'll go for a discount because they're seniors. But don't be fooled. She's six, but she's a lot of energy. And you know what? I think she kept escaping. She just didn't like living there. I think so, too. Yeah. She's a lively six. That's yes, sure. she's a very... She's a lively she's six. She's a very lively six. <laughs> so you want somebody who gives her a loving home, maybe some 
Uh, maybe a garden, I would suggest, with perhaps some fencing. I would, I would suggest <laughs> that, just a little bit, yeah. You know, absolutely. and, and we, we laugh and we joke about this, but so many of the animals, especially the dogs, I would say, uh, you know, make their way to the Humane Society because people don't take the time to train them. That's true. You That's know, true. and you can't expect an animal just to know. I mean, yeah, think they, about how much time you've taken to train your husbands at home. <laughs> It takes a lot of time. It and does. an animal is the same. same you can't back. expect them. And I think that, and I know that you'll agree that that's sometimes why they end up with you Absolutely. guys. Absolutely. You get a puppy and they, you know, if they're mouthing on you, oh, it's cute. And then when it's a dog, it hurts. And all of a right. sudden they're in our shelter because they're aggressive. And they're not aggressive. They just have never been taught that, you know, hey, we don't chew on hands. We chew on toys. Right. So because of that, you know, if people took the time and really took the patience and, and trained their dogs, we would have a lot less dogs in our shelter. And you know, you have a volunteer that comes to the shelter and trains Yes, yes. Uh, and Ford, a volunteer, is coming in and doing some clicker training, training some volunteers on how to do it, and then also training our dogs. And it is, they're responding beautifully. I mean, they know sitting down, and, and who doesn't want a dog that already knows that kind of stuff? Right. I know. It just makes life so much easier. So it's like, much easier. I hate to say this, but we've all been to Target when there's really badly behaved children. Oh, yeah. We've all oh, been yeah. there. Oh, well, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we have to name another one for, for FCC regulations. But we've all been there. So, you know, do you think there's... Um, I've certainly taken on older dogs when my, my, my dad was alive and he would, you know, take on rescues. Mm -hmm. And there hasn't been one that isn't kind of trainable no matter how oh, old yeah. they are. And she's still six. She's still... still She's still a sponge. She can take it, you know, with treats and positive reinforcement, any dog can be, can be and turned it, around. Well, isn't that where the saying comes from? You can teach an old dog so, new tricks? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I think that's what my producers say about me. I didn't know what it meant until today. <laughs> but take a look at the details on the screen for Trinity, who's still so, so full so of energy. Lovable. We have actually have our volunteer of the year who um, helps out with the show, Lisa, and she's behind the cameras and that's where she likes to, to be, likes but to be, yeah. yes, she definitely uh, tried to wear out Trinity, but I don't know, Lisa, I think this one's got your feet. <laughs> <I think> she <laughs> does. Don't she forget, does. big event coming up on the 18th of May, pause for thought, pause for thought, pause it's on, on the, the pavement, pavement. <laughs> 5K, you can walk or run, and I know uh, we've already got 300 people registered. People. Yep, it's going to be a huge event. We're it really is going to be a huge event. This is the second year, so we're hoping to raise more proceeds for the Humane Society than last year. Absolutely. Don't forget, check out the details, head to Pet Tango on the Humane Society's website, of course, lots of information on there, and of course, you've also got your expert talk, or Ask the Expert. Thanks for joining us on Pause for Thought, Kirk. Thanks, as always. Thanks for having us. Oh.